Welcome back to another episode of this. There's a body, and we are going to finish the cyber psycho sighting where the bodies hit the floor, which is somewhere over here. And uh, Johnny just appeared and was kind of figuring out all of the situation. And everything gets hacked for some reason. And, oh, there we go. There comes my experience. The thing is, I tried to do the the hacking thing, right? Or the pinging. It pings out. And of course, the ping has to come back in. Then you only get like 11 experience, which is a bit uh, low, if you think about it. Hi. Who's this? Yeah, we also have another body here. Or like another living thing. Anyway, we have to find the cyber psycho. It's probably down there. And... What is this? Your trauma team policy has expired. Oh, that's not good. Never good. Your trauma team policy has expired. Immediate action is required. Dear client, we regret to inform you that your trauma team policy has expired due to lack of payment. Please remember to activate your card immediately so we may continue to keep you healthy and safe in life's most dangerous moments. You can afford to, can't afford to hesitate when your livelihood is at stake. Trauma team. Yeah. And he's probably dead. Uh, quantity of blood indicates deep wounds. Traces of alcohol are present. So the, either this dude just drank a little bit, uh, like a little bit, huh, and uh, got killed. Now what about uh, this one here? These are just some legs. Uh, legs, no, subdermal LED diodes, cool. Junk, of course. Nothing uh, too crazy. Let's just get all the items uh, that we can get from them. And he was... I've seen him over here. And strangely enough, he's just gone now. Like, there's... He just said, whoa, woo, whatever. Like, actually, there was no real input from him, except that he was here and was looking. Whatnot. And, of course, we have stuff on the other side. What's in the trunk? We have some helmets. Oh. Look. Ah. Uh, uh, can't I? You cannot deactivate those street lamps. That's interesting. So, how would I do that? I could ping those. Let's do a little jump there, just to have the buttons present. Okay, I could try to reboot his optics, and with a bit of luck, uh, the dude in front of him will also be rebooted, and then I can... See that? Oh no, that's the wrong one. They're going crazy! Uh oh. That's not. Ah, uh, bollocks. Not. Uh oh. And reboot his optics. Oh, come on! I wanted to aim at him, but the problem is landing on them is always a little bit of an iffy thing. It's never really working. Hey, aren't I supposed to do. There we go. Burn damage? Yeah, burn damage. Burn damage. The burn! Feel the burn! Once it's burning, they're pretty much done for. Ah, there we go. We got another cold blood. Isn't that great? Now, all your weapons are on lethal. Huh. All your weapons are on lethal. Headshots do not. Da, 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 da. The thing is, it just turns everything to non lethal and headshots. What about mono wire? Like, does it deal additional damage as well if I hit the head, or is this just a mono wire thing? Ah, too bad. Didn't want to kill them like that. So, and in here we have nothing. Like, sometimes, or at least not sometimes, uh, I hope, I was just hoping that there actually was something in the stash here, yeah? like some hidden items or whatever. But in this case, uh, there is nothing. Of course. But, uh, this is not any of our concern. Oh, great, there are also other enemies. But I said that I wanted to continue this mission here, and I'm going to. So, let's go to the body, uh, body, to the uh, person cowering over there. Because I have no idea who that is. Let's just be really sneaky about it. Like, that could be our cyber psycho. What's this? Uh, archive conversation, Hoof and Sanders. Hoof, uh, today's our day to clean up after Briggs, bitch. Whoa, 
that brick, okay, after bricks bitch, or else the boss man finds out we made a rabbit dog out of the corpse he wanted. Zenas, I swear to fucking god, he makes more messes than he cleans up. It's kind of like having our own train cougar or some shit. For real. Even howls and growls and shit so much, I can't sleep. What the fuck you do that he screams so much? Just showed him what happens when you stand up to Royce. It was Daw's idea to strip out his old chrome, plus we beat his face like it was a freaking ski field piñata. Can't really talk no more. Just howls like the traitor bitch he is. But that means you gotta grab the mob and clean up all them fleshy bits and blood he leaves lying around after dealing with our problem customers. Gonna stink it up in here soon and scare off all the eddies. Then uh, get them inside and away from the fucking trash cans already. Ain't complicated. Okay. So, bri uh, is this bricks? Tonto and whoa. No, this is uh, Ellis Carter, a Maelstrom uh, person. So, I just wanted to ping him, but for some reason, nothing else works. Upload is in progress. Oh god, I have to run, 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 run. And this is this means there's uh, this is Maelstrom area. Now I get it. Oh, I really like the fact how they uh, kind of jump from one place to the other. It's really cool. Uh, why did I? I should have gone for the short circuit, I believe. Burn in the fire. How much damage is there actually? Oh no! Wait a minute. I was I was looking for the for, uh, for his health bar. And oh no! I'm I'm burning now. That's not good. All right. Uh, now it's time to short circuit this dude. I have a double damage bubble. Okay, maybe I could try to evade him. Like, is it? Bam. Oh no. Charge and hit. Ooh, ooh, charge and hit. Nice. 600 damage. 80, 82. 250 something. Just uh, swinging it about is much better. Oh, they can also heal. Which is fair. Come on. Like, I heal myself all the time, so. But that also means that I have to go all out on them and have to really be careful with my, oh no, with my stamina. So, um, I could go with Breach Protocol, why not? <laughs> right in the middle of the fight. So, uh, 1C, 1C, 55, um, BD, 1C, 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 55, BD, 1C, got it. And next one is, oh, why is the short circuit not working? Oh, oh. And for some reason, I'm overloaded. There we go. And Alice Carter has been defeated with a lot of athletics. And no cold blood, though. Bam. Too bad, this dude. Too bad. Maybe I could have just taken him out with uh, some stealth moves or so. Skill shot breach protocol. Ooh. Skill shots? Interesting. So maybe that one just... Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Um, the Lexington. Uh, a machete, some ram jolt, and a conversation between uh, Brick and Alice. So, what is this? The archive conversation. Um, Alice, what the fuck are we gonna do, Brick? Got a bad feeling Royce wants to fuck you in the ass, and he's got the people that back him. Uh, we do something... We gotta do something. Uh, where the fuck have you been? I'm 100% fucking sure he's g gunning for my uh, reins. R rain? Whatever. Reins. I've been walking corpse since yesterday. My advice to is to get the fuck off while you can. You're rolling over. We have people too. Jesus break. I'm not gonna walk work for that rusty cum stain and the fucking psycho douche smirk of his. I uh, don't write that kind of shit, Al. Well, you believe in me, so much believe me when I say you gotta get the fuck out. Oh fuck you, shit your swords all you want, but I won't let Royce get away with this. Ah, okay. Now I need to uh, send the information to Regina. Um, Regina Jones, that's the one. Um, Regina Jones... 
can cyber psycho sighting this kind uh, where the bodies there we go that's the one okay it was a gang dispute uh, the guy was one of Briggs people tried to take revenge on Royce you can guess how his solo attempt at the vendetta panned out got pumped full of drugs tortured and made into this wild attack dog of a bouncer as requested I didn't flatline him but honestly I doubt there's much left to collect in the mental sense I did not flatline him oh okay um, so that was basically um, a, a lucky coincidence. So I scrunched up some more info. Regina Jones. Wait, what, what do you mean? Got my info. Collect the man. Ah, there. So uh, I scrounged up some more info. It looks like the guy was Brick's only devotee, left all his other followers turned code in half a millisec. I'm not sure he can be safe, but maybe we'll at least learn something new about the onset of cyberpsychosis. Nice work. Okay, and uh, that was um, pretty, pretty, pretty easy, simple, a genius, and now I have to figure out what this uh, skill shot is and how I'm going to turn this in a more permanent solution, because, okay, let's, let's quickly save here just in case, and get a manual save in there too, now, I got shards, I got skill shards, I don't believe this is one of these thingies that you can just read. I think the skill shot thingy might be... And all of them have been read as things. Yeah, none of them are new. That's perfect. So the skill shot thing uh, might be in the backpack somewhere. Um, could be consumable. And it uh, looked kind of purpley thingy. So let's see. Maybe it is also... It's not in here. It's also not a mod. It's also not in here. I thought that it would be at least consumable also. Uh, but it is not. Okay, what about the all items? I got the skill shard. How do I get the skill shard? Or oh, maybe I already got the skill and I just have to level up the character. Wait a minute. No, I didn't. Mm, and it said breach protocol. No, of course, I can't do that now. Hmm, no, back to the inventory. Maybe in cyberware? No. It's supposed to be a skill shot, so it should be in skills, if anything, but there are no mods in there. <laughs> uh, uh, hmm. If I would be a skill shot, where would I be? I would be. I would be easily identifiable, that's what, what, what I would be. And yeah, all the other skills are, what's this? Uh, the VIP token clients, ah, okay. These are just normal thingies. I think, <clears throat> it should at least be somewhere up here, at least something blue also. Maybe common? Nah, not common. These are just crafting components down there. Same for this one though. Uh, the Lexington, yeah, I can just get rid of the Lexington. I don't use those pistols at all. Let's take this away. And it's not even a uh, an iconic weapon, so that's also no reason to keep that one as well. Uh, that one can be taken away too. The knife was just there for... I don't know why the knife is there. No, just to have it. Maybe I should have uh, exchanged it with the other uh, weapon there. Okay. Mmm... So it's not in all items, uh, so it has to be in a different kind of... Uh, where is it? This is Breach Protocol. Is there a way to... Is there something that I've leveled up here that was not leveled up before? It said a skill shard. This is the skill progression and it says Breach Protocol. Breach Protocol is level 13. With the level up, it should be at least 14 or so. So let's go uh, back to him. Maybe I haven't picked this up. Maybe there's something of the... We can't talk to him, though. That's just great. Now, where are the skill shards in this? Where are they? Are they in consumable? Maybe they are consumables. Wait a minute. Hmm... Like, uh, you can only interact with them in the consumable tab thingy. But I don't know, that's probably also not it. No. Where is that stuff? No. No. 
Or maybe you have to put it on as a mod on weapons or something. Showtime. Okay, as a mod on weapons. Wait a minute. So, backpack, uh, attachments, and mods. Huh, super insulator. That's the only thing that is purpley. And the rest doesn't really look like one of those special thingies. Nah, the rest in here is just uh, clothing and the like. Let's dismantle that. Don't need those. Also, not the shoes too. And the wasp anti-puncture, whatever thingy. So... Ah, uh, there's so many of those goggles, I don't need them. Same goes for the helmet. I just have to get rid of all those items. I can just buy them, I think. I hope. <laughs> uh, from some of those clothing vendors. But where is that skill? Okay. Mm, for some reason, I'm unable to find this shard in this inventory here. So maybe, maybe, maybe. It really is somewhere else. Um... It is... Hmm. It's not in this... Is it in the cyberware thingy? No. That is this augmentation stuff. And then it's other augmentation stuff. Then we, of course, have the arm. Boy, since when do I have the physical damage in here? That's weird. Have I just picked this up or did I lose it or what happened? I thought that the previous mod will actually be destroyed once you switch them. It doesn't look like it. Alright. Mm hmm. I am looking for a skill shard. It's quick hacks. No, cyberware. No, no, not in here. No, no. Clothing, utility, melee. Nah, nothing in here is in any way usable. Does it just pop up? Where is it? Skill shards. Skill shards, skill shards, skill shards. Okay. There's tarot, there's messages, and there's shards. Like tarot, of course, only those two uh, that I scanned. Do I... Uh, nah. Maybe I unlock something once I have everything in there. But yeah, there's other. Uh, unsent message. There should be something in here that's supposed to be new. I'm looking for a skill shard. Skill shard, skill shard, skill shard. Either B for breach protocol skill shard. Or this is articles. That's not it. Technology, that could be it. No, rewiring, synaptic pathways, whatever. Um, the interesting bit is uh, you have articles. You have technology. And there's a strange way how they categorize this. Which is just weird. And then you have literature. Uh, what? Hmm... Anyway, but maybe it's other or notes or something. Uh, get high at home. Da 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 da. Best boss. Leaflets. Foodies guide. People of Night City. Yeah. And then you have five completely different ones. Um, I don't know what these five are. This is like Brick and Alice. Um, oh, this 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 is the one. Wait a minute. Brick and Alice. Your trauma team policy has expired. Immediate action is required. And Dr. Martin Saipura and Lieutenant Mowa. These are some of these um some of these mission uh dependent or mission related shards biography of your noble arasaka sure, sure 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 i am still looking for uh something that boosts my stats okay so that means I have no idea what these uh, shards are, and I have to figure that out. Skill shard. Mm. What are those skill shards? Yeah, what the so-called skill shards are. Yeah, and where you get them. Interesting. Contains or found by bodies of death. Da 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 da. Yeah, Splinter adds free experience to the corresponding skill. Yeah, that's nice. You do not have to manually activate it. Uh, just pick up the Splinter and you will receive a prompt saying that you have been assigned experience points. Uh-huh. Uh, thanks to shards, you can promote your skills faster to the next level. After opening the character menu, you can view. Uh, in the lower left corner of the screen, you will always see a progress bar for the given skill. In addition to finding the shards, you can also develop a skill by performing related actions and so on. Upgrading skills to the next level is always rewarded. Uh, for example, free perks and so on and so forth. But um, the problem right here is I 
got the skill shard uh, and I thought that I can trigger this to get experience, right? Because right now I don't have experience because Breach Protocol is always maxed on my character. So it doesn't really matter. Hmm. Um, so yeah, this thing uh, just gives you experience for a certain skill. Okay. Fascinating. Uh, it doesn't say anything... Uh, about it. So, with a bit of luck, just with a, with a bit of luck, I will get the experience added later, so there is some kind of a buff or like, uh, whatever, uh, a hidden counter uh, uh, that collects the experience that I kind of got in this area. So, or in the, uh, in the skill and adds it back after I leveled up, so that the experience will not be wasted, because that would be nice, right? That would just be nice. Uh, the better way would be to have a skill shard that not just gives you um, experience, but actually unlocks a certain certain perk. That would be better. Uh, for example, let's take this one, and you have, uh, let's say, a skill shard that does not just give you experience in here, uh, but unlocks this perk or that one or what some perk, right? And once you get it, uh, you have this thing unlocked and you don't need to spend a perk point in there. That would be really cool. And uh, there's also no question, uh, questioning about, okay, uh, trigger it, don't trigger it, because either you have it maxed out or not. <laughs> um, but yeah, the other way would be to... Uh, Give it a price and put it on the market. That would be the other nice option that you could do. Oh, look at this. There is a nice item. Nice, 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 nice. There's also a green thingy here. Just by pure, pure luck, I found a legendary item. Nice. Like sometimes you're just getting lucky and you have to look and you find the stuff and sometimes the enemies are just uh no the, this is just the weapon what 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 does he have that's so special the hollow tinted badge goggles uh -huh. nice ones mm. like that mm. okay so they're supposed to be legendary as if and another lexington of course don't need this and jack fisher and daddy whatever Another conversation, Jack Fisher. Waiting at uh, the usual spot. On your way, hand me cash back through the window and do it fast. Why the hurry? NCPD figured out we got one of theirs in our pocket. Cause the corpses blew a fuse after the last convoy got held up by Maelstrom. Even though only the badges knew the uh, shipment route, if they got anything on you, not yet. Cause we'll be careful. But now they'll have eyes on everyone, so I'm out after this one. Shame. It was nice doing this with you. Same here. Maelstrom ain't half as bad as they say. Well, yeah. As long as no one tries to fight them, right? But in this case, it seems as if it kind of backfired as well. And there are tons of NDAs. Hey, wait a minute. Usually, uh, there's stuff in the trunk of those police cars. And not in this one, though. I can... Ooh. What happens if I get in a police car? Can I do stuff in there? And it closes. Nice. Now I got my very own private police car. That's nice. So, uh, let's switch the camera and have a little look around. Can we interact with anything in here? Does not really look like it. Reverse and drive changes uh, depending on uh, the character's motion. That's neat. Uh, but there's this... Yeah, that's just a standard kind of thingy. Some kind of animation there. Whoa. Like, is this the grind that's so littered for some reason? And also, weren't there supposed to be some enemies around here? Ah, there we go. See that? More street thugs. Perfect. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, let's get in real quick. Because once you exit the vehicle, this thing turns red for some reason. Okay, let's... Whoa. Nice. NCPD. That's cool. 
Okay, you can hold it down like that. But... Okay, that that's cool. That is really cool. So yeah, let's get out of this. And now it turned red immediately, like something happened here. Alrighty, so what do we have here? Of course, an awful lot of nothing. There's one uh, really, 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 really difficult to defeat. Any like, not really, but most of them are easy, I think. Nice. Let's do a ping on them, get some uh, quick hack experience. Like, this is how you do that. And yeah, the only thing you can do is like ping these, uh, but you cannot. It would be better to ping items here, and then they ping out and ping in. See that? 2000 experience. Just by doing a ping with enemies around. Maybe we can get a few more. 200. Okay. So, um, first time you actually make every item visible, and then you just reapply it. And the reapplication uh, of the same ping doesn't give you as much experience. A tenth of it, basically. So. Okay, who's seeing me? This dude, for some reason. Uh, I think I have to not distract. I could try to distract them, too. Can I distract both of them? That would be cool. What the? I, I just distract the wrong enemy. That's just great. Um, okay, let's reboot his optics and see what happens. There we go, exactly as intended. No one there. Oh, come on. Whoa. Okay, we got one. And this one here. No. He sees me. He sees me. That's too bad. So, uh, maybe we could go with a ping. Uh, short circuit. And maybe a weapon glitch, just in case. And the other dude gets a breach protocol real quick. Nice. Uh, E9, 1C, 1C. Maybe even something... Nope, we don't have stuff in there. Alright, got it. So, what do we got? Quasar. Some other nice stuff. Too bad, like... Sometimes you just try to talk to them. Well, I actually, I didn't try to do that at all. I was just going in there. Mm, now, is there like a... No, there's no container to put them in. That's just perfect. Just perfect. Let's take this. What did they even do up here? Pretty much nothing. What was that just now? Oh, no. I think this is what you have to do. You have to get close. Okay, where's the other one? Ah, okay. So. Bam, this one is the. Ooh, that's a nice way to get additional experience here. That's cool. And that could be also one reason why I uh, died sometimes. Maybe I just stepped into those explosives. Maybe by pure accident, maybe... What is this? Huh, don't know what it is. But it is something. So, Euro Dollars, yeah. And are there any other explosives in here? The thing is you can ping them, which is weird. Uh, I know, this is just there to lift the blockade. It doesn't do anything. Oh, wait a minute. That's a toaster. Ah. But yeah, once there are no enemies around anymore, you don't even get any additional experience as well. That's just how it is. And up here we have um some cans and whatnot, some junk, crystal decanter, just just some junk basically. I thought that there would at least be an interesting item up here. Maybe it's a uh, nope. Okay, let's see. Can Ooh. Yeah, fall damage. Good old fall damage. Wee! Ah. 
And now I got the street cred all of a sudden. Why is that? Oh, maybe I just landed on a body also. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Like, landing on bodies is so, is so strange. Like, you try to not kill them, then you land, and then... Enemy kill. By accident. Like, right? And then, of course, you do the modern wire thing. <laughs> so, uh, who's this? Speed cop? Yeah, it's speed cop. Both of them are beat cops for some reason. Yeah, so beat cops you can... Uh, no, you, you can only identify. But uh, you can't take them out. So they're there to uh, take away the hazardous material. Great, 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 great. And that's just strange. I thought that you can at least do different things with the uh, citizens of uh, this city. But instead, the only ones that you can actually fight are... Hmm. Or, or hack, actually. Um, are normal individuals. Like, this one just tells me that they are armed, nothing else. And just because they are, you cannot hack them at all. Wait. Wait a minute, this building looks suspicious. The jump boost is the best thing that I bought here, really. Like, once you see something, you just whoop, jump onto it. Ah. Or down, basically. But there's also a nice upgrade which uh, reduces fall damage. So, now where am I? I'm up here. Um, hmm, there's this, there's the bar. I want to go to the bar. Nah, maybe, maybe not. There's many ways to skin a cad, and there's a mat point. Oh, maybe there's uh, nice stuff I can get on the mat point. Then there's also this kit. So let's do both. Why not? Let's sit closer. It's just a few meters away. That's nice. So should I do this one first or should I go... Yeah, let's go to the med point first. And then we do the other one. Like, you think that it's a, actually a huge distance between the two points. Because you opened the map. But in reality, it's really, really close by. And this one here... Um, why can't assist mode? Forces the turret targeting into manual mode? No. Let's turn it off then. Don't want to get killed by it, but I thought that I had the uh, friendly mode turned on for this one. That's just weird. Anyway, let's get more cans just in case. Uh, we got it. So, what else is here? Nothing. Hey, hey, so this dude just got shot down because he wanted to get close to whatever is in here. Look at that. Um, and this right here, I go to the uh, Revere Courier facility, and this is someone we have to... Uh, yeah, th this is uh, maybe the start of a completely different quest. That's interesting. That is just fantastic. Let's keep that for now. I want to go to the map dude here. Whee! Also, I don't want to get run over by a car. That's why I always jump across the street. It's just uh, for safety purposes, really. Alright. You, uh, lost your way? Yeah, you sell medicine you in here? You actually sell meds out of this place. Come on. Well, I call it the whole a city is a dump. Change. Used to work in electronics, didn't exactly pan out, had to shift my focus somewhere. Mm -hmm. But hey, it's all legit. I took a first aid course on the net, bought a Indeed. shard on pharmacy basics. Good to go, Chumba. Hey, just let me know what you need. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see what he has. Expertise. With a bit of luck, there's so crafting I, material too. You want what exactly? Yeah, no expertise in it. Um, and also to craft items with components. There we go. Crafting spec for the matter. Nice. <sighs> Street cred is required. 27. Like, this is annoying. Come on. And this one also needs 27. Why is it that those two need, uh, 
What's this? The bounce back. And that's also the normal craft expect. Let's just take those. So... Uh, 27 street cred. And they're really, 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 really close to getting this 27 street cred, but whatever. Let's just uh, get all of the money that he has by selling my own crafting components again. I just have to find... Like, they're always somewhere at the bottom. There we go. There should be a complete separate tab there, like crafting materials. Mm, there. Okay, it doesn't need to be perfect. This needs to be good enough. Can I? Nah. Alrighty. Let's just quickly get rid of some of the items that I have found in here. Like this one is stupid. That one's stupid. At least for the playstyle that I go with. Um, most of them are decent-ish kind of weapons. The ones with mods I keep, of course. Tonto. Is there another ton? Like that. I do find so many Tontos. And best knife is kept, which is this one. Uh, yeah, which is this one. The other one is just green. Let's get rid of this. And a normal machete for 300. Yes. So, that is that then. Clothing. We don't need to concern ourselves with that too much. That one here, the hollow tinted badge goggles. Mmm. They're also so much better. Ooh. They're really much, so much better. So, let's see how they look like. Ah, uh, of course. Of course, they completely make the character. Can you turn the hollow effect off? Right, that would be cool. Because this is the reason why I don't really like the goggles. I want to see the eyes of the character. But most of the time you don't see the character at all. Like you're in first person or something. So there's not that much to deal with. That's weird. See that? There is the... Uh, medical icon on the minimap and i think i kind of i don't know what happened but i must have bugged it out also anyway i want to know Whoopala. safety first so i want to know what this leads me in to so Let's end this episode and continue with uh, this thing here in another time. Until then, I can subscribe, by the way. Ta-ta. <laughs>